Okay, hello guys, um, <coughs> Josh MC2000 here, and um, today we're gonna, uh, hang on, Ooh, better not use it in that mode just in case it, uh, today, uh, this is another Clint but Connage video, and today we're gonna be, um, today we're gonna be addressing, uh, some of my favourite runs from the current DC continuity, which is DC Rebirth. Um okay, I've got I've got four. I've got four at the moment that I'm really enjoying. Uh two that mm, not so much. I'm not entirely sure on at the moment. Um actually no wait. Oh actually no wait, I have more. I have about five or six actually thinking about it, just like you know, with some of the tie ins from DC Rebirth. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna start a match up here, and then we can um, get it going. Uh, yes, I'm playing this through the Nox Player emulator, which um, it's just easier to record things on my uh, computer uh, than it is on my phone. Like, especially when it comes to games. So that's why I'm running it through an emulator. Um, also, it makes the game considerably easier to control. Uh, this is along the same sort of vein as Galaxy of Heroes, if you guys have ever seen me play that. Um, but um, anyway, let's start off with the most obvious pick on this list, because I did a video about it yesterday, uh, which is Red Hood and Outlaws. Um, this was the first one that really pulled me in, uh, to be honest, out of all of them. This, this was the first one to get my attention the fastest. Um, then after that, it was followed by Deathstroke. Because originally, Red Hood and Deathstroke were the two runs I was using. Well, th those were the two main runs I was in into. And it was the same with New 52 as well, even though the New 52 versions of them were mm, so-so. Um, but you know, so, oh wait, yeah, and there's another, there's a Marvel run as well, yeah, that's, I, I, I keep forgetting, uh, the, like, there's so many runs I'm reading at the moment, uh, the, um, right, so the main two runs that I started picking up from the start of this year was, uh, Deathstroke, now called Deathstroke Defiance and Red Hood and the Outlaws, which is still called Red Hood and the Outlaws. Um, I don't know why they did that thing with the naming for Deathstroke. I I honestly think they should have just continued to call it Deathstroke and had it be one massive story arc. Um, which you know, uh, but you know, the the, the 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 Defiance story arc's okay. It's not the best. Like you know, compared to some of the story arcs Red Hood and Outlaws have had, it's not as good. Um, but you know, next one I want to move on to talk about is uh, Doomsday Clock. Doomsday Clock is one of the series at the moment that I'm really hyped for. Literally, like I have a um. At Forbidden Planet, they were giving away Doom Doomsday Clock um, uh, pins. You know, kind of like the Comedian's pin. They've done something like that with the Doomsday Clock sign, and it, I've actually got that sat at my desk. Uh, you probably just heard it crack at your desk there. Um, but, uh, you know, it's... It's one of those things where Doomsday Clock could go either way. I have really high hopes for that at the moment. Um, anyway. I'm going to finish off the... I'm going to finish off talking about the DC runs before I move on to the Marvel run. Um, there's one digital run that I'm reading at the moment, which is uh, Injustice, Gods, Injustice 2, uh, which is the Injustice 2 comics. Because those come out faster on, uh, those come out faster on tablet. Like they come out every single Tuesday, which uh, whereas it takes longer for them. I think the the actual single issues for them are actually pretty far behind. I think so. 
I've stopped collecting them like that, and I've, you know, that's the one that I'm not collecting physically. Also, those don't come with a code, so I don't see much point to own those physically if they're cheaper digitally. Um, also, I get them faster, so Injustice, I get that because I love the video game and I want more of like, the backstory of the game. And also, it's a really interesting, for me, the idea of an evil Superman and like what would happen in that scenario is really interesting. And with Injustice 2, it's kind of like them rebuilding after the war and everything. It's like a really cool idea. Oh, damn it. Damn you, Zatanna. <laughs> Why have to make my job harder? Alright then, I'm going to make my job harder. I'm gonna make their job harder as well. Um. Right then. So anyway, yeah. And the injustice. So for DC so far, we have Red Hood Outlaws, Deathstroke Defiance, Doomsday Clock, and um, last one is the Batman run. But I'm picking those up in trade paperbacks, and I'm actually really far behind on Batman. I need to catch up with that. Because I still only have Volume 1, and they're like on Volume 4, War of Jokes and Riddles. Like, that came out this month. So, I think after Christmas, when I've got some money to my name, or at least a bit more money, uh, <laughs> I'll, um, I'll be picking up the uh, rest of the Deathstroke issues. Um, but no, yeah, I will be picking those up because I'm actually enjoying those. But uh, it's um, I'll be picking up the the rest of Batman hopefully. Uh, two, and there was two DC runs that I started reading that I wasn't overly impressed with. Um, that being the new Hellblazer and Nightwing. I read the, I read. I read the first volume of Nightwing, and I just... I think it was a case where that relied too much on New 52 events, and it's like, because I didn't read Nightwing New 52, I was lost. Like, utterly and completely. Um, this, the only New 52 run I read all the way through was Red Hood Outlaws, much to my regret. That... <laughs> You know, there were much better series I could have been spending my money on. It's like, New 52 Red Hood Outlaws it started out good, but it just turned to trash so quickly. And I'm, I'm actually kind of frightened that um, that's going to happen with uh, the current one as well. I, I'm praying it doesn't, because it's actually a really good book at the moment. And it would be a shame to see it go down so poorly. <laughs> like, literally, the New 52 Red Hood Outlaws did a lead book did a lead balloon impression but it was that bad but um you know it's we'll have to wait to see I'm, I'm hoping that um everything comes out okay um but um hellblazer and nightwing i wasn't too impressed with it hellblazer was mostly because of the art like it's uh, and also, maybe it's because I've been reading the old Hellblazer as well at the moment. But I'll, I'll talk about that in a bit more detail in another video. Um, this I'm going to do one of these video. I'm going to do another one of these videos, which is about old, um, like old comic book runs I'm reading at the moment. Uh, that one will also have a little bit of manga in there as well. Uh, don't judge me. I'm, with comic book carnage, I'm kind of mashing manga and comics together, so I don't have to do a separate thing. Uh, manga. It, it just makes my life easier. Um, and also saves me having to come up with a name for something manga. Um, this, I have no idea how the hell I'd come up with something. Like, what? Monstrous manga? Anyway, whatever. I'm going off on a tangent here. I'm, I'm going to shut up. Uh, but... Those were the two DC runs I wasn't really impressed with. Uh, Nightwing and Hellblazer. I've heard Green Arrow is good, but yeah, and yeah. I also picked up the first volume of Suicide Squad, and it was a bit meh. I wasn't entirely sold on it. Um, but you know that's probably it in terms of DC goes. Uh. I also need to pick up Button and like some of the events because I'm missing pieces of the puzzle. Um, the next, um, next time I'll talk about Marvel. Okay, Marvel. 
I'm this run has ended, but they've started it afresh, so I'm gonna count this. Darth Vader, Star Wars Darth Vader. It's probably one of my favourite runs at the moment. Because uh, they've they're doing a prequel one now, whereas the one I just finished reading is finished. Um, um you know. But it was actually a really enjoyable book, and I actually would highly recommend. If you're a Star Wars fan, go out and pick up Star Wars Darth Vader, uh, volumes one to four, and break down. It's actually a really enjoyable uh, story. It's um, it, it gets Vader so right as well, and the art feels like Star Wars. It's really good. Like the scenes with stormtroopers running around everywhere, and it, it looks great. Like no complaints. And um. I'm kind of excited to see what I'm kind of excited to see what they're gonna do with the new Darth Vader run. Uh, this thing is, I'm a, uh, I Star Wars ones I get in trades because I like to sit down and binge them. That that's just the way I do it. It's weird. There's only certain character. It's a certain character where I pick up single issues. So for trades, um, Darth Vader for Marvel, yeah, definitely. Anything Darth Vader related. Hell yeah, I'm coming. Um, but uh, as for Marvel single issues wise, there's only only been one series I've really been that interested in, and it's um, Spirit of Vengeance. It's a fairly recent one, and it's just a uh, it's just a five issue uh, thing. It's going to be finishing next two months, I think. Uh, this next issue is issue four. Uh, so uh, that comes out in January, I believe. Um, so it'll be finished by February. So if I was you, I'd go out, pick up the last of those, uh, pick up those three, catch up, because it's actually a really enjoyable series. Uh, also, tell me what you thought of the gameplay of this video. I I just picked this. Is this a bit boring? Would you prefer something a bit more action orientated? Uh, just let me know, guys. This, ultimately, this content is created about you. Okay, yeah, I have to kind of enjoy filming it, but it's also... I have multiple games set up on this emulator that I can record. I have both Injustice games, uh, both Injustice mobile games. Uh, it's like... And so at the end of the day, I want to create something that you guys enjoy watching as well as I enjoy creating. Like, I want to try and find that balance. Where I enjoy making it, but you guys also enjoy watching it. Like, uh, you kind of get what, getting what I'm saying. It's like you kind of uh, this. There's no good one side liking it, and the other side not liking it. Like, say for example, if you enjoyed me doing, I don't know, Outlast videos, I would never do a game like Outlast because I I'm not big on horror. I never have been. So. I mean, I could just about stub at the Walking Dead games uh, by Telltale, which, you know, even there, even though now they're starting to push it, to be honest. Um, but uh, I want to try and find a middle ground with something you guys all enjoy watching. So if you guys can leave me some feedback in the comments section, I would appreciate it. Um, so. That's pretty much about it. Uh, next video is going to be the same sort of thing, but with all the comic book runs. Uh, there's going to be a bit of manga in there as well. Uh, and this is going to be kind of my pickup list uh, for trade. This, what I'm telling you in the next video, is going to be my pickup list for trades. Uh, I'll also be telling you which is the cheaper option, which I think is a better read and stuff. But uh, as for this video, pretty much anything I've listed in this video. Especially Doomsday Clock if you're a Watchmen fan. Um, you know, I mean, literally, I was sat in the Forbidden Planet. I went into Forbidden Planet, I brought my comics, and I was talking to the guy at the desk, and literally, like, um, I asked him about Doomsday Clock, and he was like, he's like, oh, yeah, everybody's buzzing about that lately. It's it's honestly, it's a 12-issue maxi, so it's about the same sort of length as Watchmen. And honestly, order it. Dude, guys, if you like Watchmen, order order Doomsday Clock. I I can't. Um, the reason why I recommend uh, Red Hood Outlaws is primarily because of good storytelling, good art, and also it kind of redeems the whole concept <laughs> from New Fifty Two shenanigans. Uh, 
I'm not saying the new 52 was a bad idea, like the new 52 one, but it just didn't come across very well. Um, yeah. Oh, um, I think I've also discussed that in a... I'll discuss that in a future video as well, but not today. I already have like two other videos planned for today that I'm going to record and maybe upload. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you all enjoy.